It's time to step up your game. Uh, let's get ready to rumble! You're listening to a special presentation of Game On. Coming to you from the Calgary and Comic Entertainment Expo. We got interviews, we got cosplay, we got special guests. So get ready, because your presentation of Game On starts now. Game On! Game On! Game On! And we're here at the Calgary Comic and Entertainment Expo. I'm Jeff Johnson, your host for Game On, here on GameAndTrain.com. We've got a special guest joining us today, the one, the only, Mark Meir. Mark, how are you doing today? Uh, very well, Jeff. Thanks for having me. Now, Mark, one thing I will say is there's so many roles that have come about through Bioware. We're talking about Commander Shepard. We're talking about your time with Dragon Age, with uh, also, I believe it's Baldur's Gate. Baldur's Gate, yeah, yeah. That was some of my uh, very first uh, video game voice work was Baldur's Gate 2, uh, in which I had a single line in the final cutscene. Uh, and uh, funnily enough, uh, the most recent video game voice work I've done has been on the Baldur's Gate 2 Enhanced Edition from Overhaul Games. Uh, they're a company who's taking the original Bioware game and uh, sort of sprucing it up for, uh, for the modern age and adding a bunch of new levels, new characters. Uh, in Baldur's Gate 1 Enhanced Edition, I play Rasad, who is a new NPC monk uh, who's available for the party. And he has a storyline. And unlike uh, the original Baldur's Gate characters, uh, there's also uh, romance options with the new NPCs. Uh, and I, in addition to that, I play Baloth the Entertainer, who is the main villain of the Black Pits, which is the gladiatorial fighting module to, that they've uh, put on to uh, the Baldur's Gate Enhanced Edition. And uh, as I said, I've just done some work on Baldur's Gate 2, so I can't talk too much about that, but it's on the way. So we'll stay tuned and see how that goes. But before video games, you had quite the career in improv. You still have quite the career in improv, especially with a new project that has come out. Legend has it. Uh, yeah, improv is actually uh, is and continues to be my focus uh, of my career, really. I go over the world uh, doing improv. I just recently was at the uh, 50-hour Improvathon in London, England. And uh, Legend Has It is a show I'm developing uh, with uh, Rebecca Northen of Loose Moose Theatre in Calgary. And this is essentially going to be a fantasy adventure show in which we bring an audience member up on stage and make them the hero of the story. So it'll be an epic fantasy battle with goblins and dragons and all the trappings that you associate with fantasy, but you will be the hero, potentially. So looking at something like that, I mean, there comes into that a lot of choices that the character would meet, and really just, it shows the skills of everybody on stage. Uh, yeah, certainly. Uh, we've got a great team. Uh, in addition to Rebecca Northern, there's uh, Jamie Northern, uh, also of Loose Moose Theatre, uh, Bruce Horak, uh, Renee Amber, uh, so fantastic improvisers, one and all. And, of course, Loose Moose is uh, the, the birthplace of theatre sports uh, and uh, really popularized improv in North America. Now, with all of your time spent working on different video game projects, like we're talking about Mass Effect here, we're talking about Baldur's Gate again, how important was your history in improv in making that happen? I'd say improv really teaches valuable lessons that can be applied to almost any branch of acting. And specifically in voice acting, it comes in very handy because a lot of the times you're doing cold reads. You'll never see the script before, until you're in the booth. So being able to drop into character instantly, roll with the punches as it were, uh, really comes in handy. And improv, of course, is, is great for teaching those lessons. Now, that being said, there's obviously differences between working for improv and voicing for games, considering the scripts that you run into through Excel formats and all that stuff. Yeah, there's not too much room for improvisation of dialogue within Mass Effect, because, of course, it, this dialogue has been gone through several people and departments before it gets to you. Uh, of course, specifically with Mass Effect, there's also the fact that Jennifer Hale and I had to record exactly the same dialogue. So uh, if one of us uh, goes off script, suddenly we're not saying the same thing anymore. That said, uh, we were lucky enough that we'd often have writers from Bioware, at least in my case, uh, sitting in on, on recording sessions. And so while I wouldn't be able to change huge details of the plot or anything like that, I might be able to say, uh, hey, Mac, this line is a little bit of a mouthful. Uh, would it be okay if I rephrased it and said it like this? And if you were the first one recording, then, then yeah, and then they would change the line. So uh, Bioware was great about that, certainly. That's fantastic, Mark. So looking at Legend Hazard, this awesome project, when can people expect to see it on stage? We're doing a uh, workshop performance at Loose Moose Theatre uh, in Calgary, June 12th to 15th. Uh, there will be another workshop coming up in October. I don't believe the dates for that have been set in stone yet. And uh, then it will have its world premiere in March of 2014 here in Calgary at uh, Alberta Theatre Project. Mark, thank you very much for joining me today. If people want to know more about you, where should they go? 
You can find out about me by following me on Twitter. Uh, I'm at Mark underscore Mir. I'm afraid at Mark Mir was taken by some Dutch kid. So so I'm Mark underscore Mir. And additionally, uh, you can check out my new television show, Tiny Plastic Men, which airs on Super Channel in Canada. That's at tinyplasticmen.ca. You can also follow us on Twitter. And uh, you can also follow the exploits of my theater company, Rapid Fire Theater, at www.rapidfiretheater.com. And I should mention that theater is spelled the Canadian way. Mark, thank you very much for joining us on Game On today. Not at all. Thank you very much for having me. That was Mark Mayer. I'm Jeff Johnson. You're listening to Game On. Thank you, sir. A little bit of the old. A little bit of the new. I am assuming direct control. And everything in between. <laughs> You're listening to Game On on GameAndTrain.com. <laughs>